A woman who hoped that her daughter would sometime find, uh, or one day find, the man of her dreams was a little upset when her white daughter brought home a black partner. However, as she got to know uh, the partner, she decided that, hey, you know what, he's actually a really great Christian guy, and I've become a lot more open-minded toward the black community, and so let me write about my experience so people understand what this is like and what they can do to get through it. Well, when Gay Clark uh, wrote this piece, she didn't expect the amount of criticism that she got. So let me give you the details. Clark, a white freelance writer and cardiac care nurse from Georgia, confessed in a blog post Tuesday on the website The Gospel Coalition that she initially struggled with the idea of her daughter marrying an African-American man. In it, she explained how she ultimately came to embrace her daughter's decision and offered some advice for parents like her to consider if they, too, are hesitant about a child's interracial marriage. So the title of her blog was, When God Sends Your Daughter a Black Husband. <laughs> okay, so... Look. Guess who's coming to dinner? Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? Good to see you. <laughs> I, I hesitate to say this, but... Wow. I'm a little torn on this story. Really? I am. I am. And and because it's not malicious. Please hear yeah. me out. Please hear me out. First of all, I think it takes gigantic balls to come out and say, I real I was really iffy on him because he was black, but here's what I experienced, and I realized like I was being a dick, right? I mean, she didn't say it. I'm I'm paraphrasing her, but to say like this this was my my racial bias. And I, real, I realized it was a racial bias, and it was stupid, and I worked through it. I think that it, it opens up a dialogue that I do not want to, like, Just put watch. a stop to. Right. Yeah, I think that that dialogue is important. Like, look, she comes from an ignorant place. And to come out and say that you were ignorant, and here's what you've experienced, and here's how you've grown, I think is valuable. See, you sold her, though, because I, I disagree with you. I think... Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, I think she, it's not malicious. This is just pure ignorance. She's oblivious. It's If you read the entire piece, it's so tone deaf mm -hmm. because it's so self-righteous. Yeah. She does it to serve herself. It's never yeah. once does she say that she is confronting her own racist beliefs, mm -hmm. that she's confronting her own prejudice biases. Not once does she ever own up to that. It's, it's more of a how to, to other mothers, how to deal with your daughter if she bring, brings home a black man. Yeah. That's how it comes off, and that's why people were so offended. And I get it, but I, I think it would have been much more courageous if she would have been open and honest and said, this is, this is a piece about me confronting my own, my own prejudices. Yeah, I mean, it's, as, as a black man that's dated a lot of different races, it's, it's kind of one of those that when you sit and look at it and it's like, oh, well, this is how you, you know, you welcome the black folks in and this is how you feel and this is what you do and you do it this and I did it and look at me, I'm a hero. Yeah. That's exactly how no, you're she not a hero, you're an idiot. That's how she so, painted herself. Like, it was so like, self-serving. I feel so confident about myself. I'm just like she Wonder Woman. She never called yeah. herself I'm out. The girl, I'm like June Cleaver. I can, anybody's welcome in my house. You know, I'm going to yeah. write a book on how to, how to um, you know accept the you know the Persian people and if they come into your house or the Jewish girls and they come into your house like right yeah she never Look, really keep, talked keep about it to I yourself I understand your thoughts and yes yeah. that is a conversation that people have and yes you know I have dated people that aren't you know black African American or that are white or Asian and stuff and I do notice different looks that you know I may get even today in 2016 it is a conversation that needs to be had but it should be uh, I saw someone actually said that maybe she should have you know, had included a co-writer with this or his mother in it. Somebody yeah, to in share it so that they can share each other's Look, perspectives. Yes, and yes. actually and so owned she up. cannot try and to actually... be like, oh, you know, oh, I don't understand. Why is everyone so offended by this? Why are, you know, well, she took the post down. Like, why did you take the post down? Why are you so offended? She's why are you oblivious. Just, you know, oblivious yeah. to what's she going is, on. She is, but like that's, okay, so that's what I want to touch on, right? Look, I think intent matters. And I think that, you know, the fact that she's not a malicious person matters I agree. as well, right? I agree. So, what I'm trying to say is there's some portion of the country that has a right racial bias and it doesn't come from a malicious place. It comes because of the families that they grew, grew up in, mm -hmm. the areas of the country that they grew up in. And so we want to fight back against that, right? And you do that through educating people. You do that through dialogue. You do that through conversation. And I think that in this case, you guys are absolutely right. She does have that like self-righteous, like, I'm a good person and I'm a hero type let me attitude. show you how to do it, Yeah, too. yeah, and that definitely rubbed me the wrong way. And yeah. It was annoying, but when I, when I read it, I was like, 
there's there's hope for her. You know, she's not a hateful person. Yeah. And I don't want I don't want the criticism to make her revert back to you know disliking. I hope or, she listens. Uh, I mean, we've all been called yeah. out being in front of the camera. We get called out, and if you listen and you learn and you evolve, that makes you that much better of a person. Yeah. So I hope that she can have a self-aware moment and really read the criticism. Um, not the criticism that goes above and beyond. Because some that's people, what I'm referring yeah, to, though. That's yeah, what I'm, like, yes, yeah. there are some people who gave her constructive criticism. And I hope and I she think listens. I want her to listen to that. Yeah. But, you know, the nature of Twitter, and we're going to get to that later on in the show today, it's just people become vicious, mm -hmm. and sometimes that makes you defiant, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so... Let me, if I get something wrong on the show, when I get constructive criticism, I'm like, oh my God, they have a really good point, and yeah. I'll correct my errors. But if the first criticism I read is someone calling me a cunty whore, mm -hmm. well, then I'm gonna be like, well, fuck you, then I'm gonna double down, right? right. That's, yeah. not, that's not necessarily the most mature way to react, but, but that's a human, yeah. a human way of reacting. Right. You yeah. see you're what not, I'm saying? You're not gonna well, listen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, read this post again, and every time, everywhere it says black man, insert French bulldog, uh -huh. and then tell me, if you don't think that she would want to rewrite that whole thing over again, like you can. But just I love insert, I love black men she, just as she, much as I love the I know dogs. You, do. <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? That doesn't change it. But the way it. the way she wrote this is incredibly. I don't want to say dumb because it's not. I know it's she ignorant. Really it's dumb. ignorant. It's, it was it's more than ignorant, that, but for sure. it's just like what she world missed the are mark. She in? yeah, she missed the mark completely, and hopefully. Um, she's educating herself, and she's open to continuing to evolve and be a better person. And she needs to watch uh, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, both versions, with Ashton Kutcher and Sidney Poitier. Please forgive me if I'm being personal, but tell me about your sex life. Well, actually, sometimes we do in the post games if you're a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.